So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to drill a hole in fiberglass, which I'll be doing on that row bed I have behind me. So it's a fairly simple video, but that's what I'll be showing you today. So this is the fiberglass tank that I'll be drilling the hole into. I do have a hole over here with a bulkhead in that you can see there, which I'll be basically doing the same. That one is just too high. So I'll be putting another one over here using a two inch bulkhead. And then the hole saw I'm using is basically just a common wood saw, a wood hole saw, which will work perfectly for this. Plus it's the only one I have. I've used them on, well, the other holes and it's done perfectly fine. So the, before you do drill a hole, just make sure to kind of pre-drill in a piece of cardboard so you can make sure the, the bulkhead fitting will fit in there because you don't want to drill too big of a hole or too small of a hole because either in either case it's going to be tough to fix. So the things that you will need is basically your drill, a small bit to make a, uh, the pre-hole, a spray bottle, your hole saw, some painter's tape and that's pretty much what you need this particular grow bed is actually decently old so it is the gel coat on is a little more brittle it is also a 3 8 grow bed so using painter's tape is not absolutely necessary but it is just a safety precaution just to prevent maybe some stress cracks on the gel coats and since this is an older tank I will be using it on here just to be safe even though as I do mention, did mention, it's not entirely necessary since in most cases it won't, won't crack on you or splinter. But as you can see, this grow bed is older and it does have already stress, frack, stress cracks in places, which isn't too nice. So I don't wanna cause anything on here where I'm drilling a hole directly through the grow bed itself. Also, when I'm gonna be drilling through this grow bed, I'll be drilling through this side of the grow bed instead of this side since there's a possibility if I go through here that it could crack the gel coat just because it's pushing on it. This way as I'm going through here, it shouldn't be cracking anything on this side since this is just the fiberglass backing and this is pretty much the waterproofing area over here. So this is the side I'm gonna be going through. So after you have marked the area that you wanna drill to and whether or not you have painter's tape on there or not, what you first wanna do is use the smaller bit just to make a, a hole in there that will allow you to guide the hole saw into that spot so you don't have it moving around you pretty much are fine if you just go directly in with it since this guy sticks out like like so so in most cases you're pretty much fine just using this guy but just to be safe since I don't want anything to go wrong in this particular grow bed since I said it is old I'm gonna just start with this guy also when dealing with fiberglass you do want to make sure to wear a mask just because the fiberglass particles can cause issues in your lungs and you don't want that to get into your lungs, which could be an issue. Hence why we have the spray bottle. So the purpose of the spray bottle is as I'm drilling, I'll be spraying the area like so. And what it'll do is prevent the particles from really floating everywhere since the water will capture it and that way I can clean it up nicely after. So make sure to have one of these plus a mask. So you wanna line it up. Make sure you double check and triple check that this is the right spot you want to do since you don't want to mess up when drilling a hole. So this, this guy's going to go like so. And the reason why I'm putting it here is because I have flexibility to adjust the height here. I was thinking to put it at the bottom, but decided to just go with the middle. So now that we got the first hole in, we will start with the bigger one. So this hole saw is actually a little bigger than I like. It, as you can see there, I wish it was a little smaller. However, I don't have another one and I, I'm not trying to go and buy one at the moment. Wait for it.
But as you can see now that we have the small hole, first hole, we'll just go in like so and then it will follow and guide its way into there. So when drilling into the fiberglass, you don't have to do much pressure. Just let the drill pretty much do the work. So we'll first go in with the small bit, which is right at the tip. So we'll just get this guy in. Just go into your existing hole. So now that we have it, the first bit inside, what we're actually gonna do is instead of going the normal way, which as you can see is this, we're gonna reverse the drill and go the opposite way as if you were gonna be removing something. The purpose of doing so is that it prevents, uh, or no, it allows for a cleaner cut. So as you're going this way, it will take a good deal longer, but as I did mention, it just allows you to do for uh, a cleaner hole in your actual grow bed. And it also allows for less splintering and less possibility of the gel coat cracking or anything on the other side is cracking as well. So I'll get that guy in there as well again. So as I mentioned, you don't have to do much pressure. And then throughout the time as we're doing this, we'll just be spraying it with the spray bottle just to prevent the dust particles from floating up in the air. So you can see how clean it is drilling. It just takes a good amount of time because you are going reverse. But you can see all the stuff from the water is collecting the fiberglass particles. There is stuff still spraying everywhere, which is unfortunate since I don't want it to get in the other part of my grow bed. But it's better than the dust particles floating around. So we now have our hole, and then you can see the mess the fiberglass leaves. But the nice thing about using the water is that now I can just wipe this up with a wet rag or wet paper towel versus if I didn't use the spray bottle, the particles will be floating everywhere and it would be quite a mess. Another option is while you're doing it, you can also have a vacuum in the place, which will suck up the powder instead of a spray bottle. So there's different ways to do it, but this is the way I did it. So let me clean this up, then I'll stick my bulkhead fitting in there and then we'll be done with the hole. You can see though that the stuff gets everywhere. It all along here. Hopefully not much of it went in the water. And then just sprayed all along the side of the tank. Another thing is that also when you're done drilling the hole, what you can do is come with the file on the outside where you can see all these fiberglass strands and just sand it down. Just like so. So here you have the finished hole. It is pretty clean. There's no cracking. And I got all the stuff cleaned up. Pretty much, there's probably still stuff, st fiberglass particles in the greenhouse somewhere that I won't be able to find, but I got a good amount of it. So for my purpose, I'll be sticking this guy in here like so and then I just thread this on and there you have it I'll probably put some silicone in here even though it does have a gasket 
just because the hole is a little bigger than I would like since I did mention my hole saw that I had was a little big and I didn't have anything else. Well that pretty much sums up this video. I was just showing you how to drill a hole using a hole saw in this fiberglass grow bit I have behind me. If you do have gloves it would be good to wear those just because the fiberglass particles can get into your skin and it can cause very a, a good irritation. Also if you have goggles put those on. I always forget since I have glasses but that is recommended to put those on just because you don't want those particles to get in your eyes either. But that's pretty much that. If you do have any questions or comments, remember to leave those below. And thank you for watching.